I believe it was Robert Schuller who coined the phrase, attitude of gratitude. I did not see his sermon or read a book in which the phrase appeared. Nonetheless, the phrase has stuck with me for many years. I believe that being grateful is essential to Christian growth. Gratitude or giving thanks opens our spiritual eyes to what God is doing in our lives. When we practice gratitude, we recognize that God has blessed us in some way, and our hearts and souls give thanks for the gift from God. The blessed psalm seemed to switch between groaning and gratitude. Evidently, King David was in a good mood and feeling grateful for God's blessings the day he wrote Psalm 104. Dare I say that David had an attitude of gratitude? If David was in a foul morning mood, Psalm 104 could have been a psalm of lament. Do you ever rise to greet the morning and see a dark horizon of gloom and doom rather than a spectacular sunrise? I fear my days are often clouded by my disposition more than celebrating the activity of God in my life. If you want to grow spiritually and feel closer to God, I would like to commend the spiritual practice of giving thanks or gratitude. Gratitude recognizes God's work in your life. God becomes more real and closer. Giving thanks also makes you cheerful because your heart and spirit celebrate what God is doing in your life. I don't know about you, my friend, but I favor starting each day in a better frame of mind. Come to think of it, my family and friends would also appreciate a more cheerful me. Seeing God in your daily life comes from recognizing God's blessings and giving thanks. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise, give thanks to him and praise his name. Psalm 104 Learn to sing and dance to my tune of thanksgiving. Rise this morning with the song of thanksgiving in your heart and the music of gratitude in your soul. Sing happy words to fill your day with positive expectations of my movement in your life. As you practice giving thanks to me for my blessings, daily grace, and my everlasting love, your eyes will adjust to seeing me more often. I am always before you, but an ungrateful heart and a soul that does not give thanks will never see me. Don't mistake the ordinary for the extraordinary, my child. You have a job, home, car, income, family, and friends. These blessings of my love create the core of your life. Food, shelter, companionship, and other daily activities are minor sprinklings of my love upon the foundation of your life. I hide all of my gifts of love to you in plain sight, you must distinguish between an earthly delight and a heavenly blessing. I do not mean to offend you, but most of my children believe their daily gifts exist because of their hard work. You did the work, but I blessed you with the ability to do the job. The act of giving thanks to me trains your heart and soul to see more of my movement in your life and all of the love I so freely give to you. I do not permanently hide my blessings from you, you must learn to see my blessings and appreciate them for what they are. My blessings are gifts to you from me. Before you leave your home each day, practice giving thanks for five things for which you are grateful. Then look for five new blessings in the day ahead. You will be amazed at what you see, my sacred heart. I am very grateful for your presence and journey with us in this devotional, my friend. I affirm that God works daily to draw more wonderful people like you to share in the ministry. If you are grateful for this devotional, may I ask you to share this episode with another soul? The person you share this devotional with may be thankful for the gift. I would like to honor you with a closing prayer, my friend. I thank you, O oh God, for all you do in our lives. I celebrate your daily blessings and rejoice in recognizing all you do for us. I also lift up my hands in praise for the generous blessings I may have missed. You do far more for me than I can ever know or count. For the blessing of this day, I give thanks. For the promise of what is to come, I celebrate and rejoice. I am humbled by the love you placed around me. I stand in awe of the life you gave me. 
I fall to my knees with gratitude for your salvation to your children. Lord, continue to bless us with your heavenly grace. Jesus, guide us in the direction you want us to go. Holy Spirit, fill us with your sacred presence so we can love one another with divine love. May the heavens rejoice whenever we see God in our daily lives. Blessed are we who celebrate the presence of God. I pray you will become more acutely aware of what God is doing in your life, my friend in the Spirit. I truly believe God is at work in our daily lives, we just fail to see the movement of the Spirit of Holiness. I am very thankful that there is nothing closer to us than the Spirit of God. Go in peace.